This is an introduction to the Micromite Plus. As many people will already know the Micromite, the standard Micromite. It comes in a 28 pin or 44 pin package and it is a 32 bit microcontroller running a basic interpreter. The Micromite Plus is the same, only it has much more features, it has twice the memory and it runs roughly three times as fast. It comes in a 64-pin package or a 100-pin package. It supports an SD card from which you can read, write and have random access to files. Uh, it also supports a directly connected USB connector so you can interface to a larger computer. And it supports a PS2 keyboard and more on that later. The uh, smaller Explore 64 board is intended for plugging into a breadboard and for experimenting with. The larger Explore 100 is intended as a backpack on a 5 inch display. Uh, the two make a neat assembly. The display also provides the SD card over there. One of the features of the Explore 100 is that it can take uh, what are called clickboards. There are over 200 of these around. Uh, this is a relay clickboard. It's got two relays. It will switch uh, voltages for you. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi interface board. Uh, and you've got many other boards that you can plug into it. The Explore 100 is intended to be mounted in the panel of some sort of control system. Uh, it could be controlling some machine. It could be a sophisticated burglar alarm. So it's intended as a control device. It also can operate as a complete standalone computer with a PS2 keyboard and LCD display and I'll talk more about that later on. The Micromite Plus can support a wide range of displays ranging from tiny little 1.4 inch size display to this one which is a 5 inch display all the way up to a monster 8 inch display panel. There are 10 different size displays in total that the Micromite Plus will support and it's all built in to the basic language. The larger displays supported by the Micromite Plus can display 800 by 480 pixels which is quite a high resolution and they can also display true color 24-bit images and the Micromite Plus can generate images such as this which are quite stunning. The Micromite Plus uses a high-speed parallel interface to the display, so the updates are extremely fast, as you can see here. This particular demonstration was done using just the ordinary graphic commands that are in uh, the basic language run by the Micromite Plus. As you can see, uh, it's a very clear display and they're updated very smoothly. This display is uh, generated using the advanced graphics commands that are built into the Micromite Plus. Each one of these objects on the screen is only required one line of basic to define where the object sat, it, its colors and its characteristics. There is quite a wide range of controls that you can define. This is a switch, it toggles off and on. That's a light emitting diode, a LED. They can be turned off and on and they can also be changed in color. This is a radio switch down here. And you can select one of three. Uh, this is a push button switch, which also operates a sound. Uh, you have check boxes which you can check or uncheck to indicate options and you also have a spinner which will spin up and down a bit like a digital potentiometer 
In this case, it's controlling the brightness of the screen. All these controls are set up by a single line of BASIC and from then on the running program doesn't have to concern itself with the control. When it wants to know the status of the switch, for example, it just needs to read the status of the switch. It is not involved in doing the animation or any of the sound, click sounds or anything like that. That's all done by the BASIC interpreter. Now, two of the more sophisticated controls are the number box and the text box. The number box, when it's touched, pops up a number pad where you can key in a number. You can have multiple number pads on the screen and each can contain a different number. The a more sophisticated text box pops up a complete QWERTY keyboard so you can enter in whatever text you like, numbers, punctuation marks, in fact you can enter in the full ASCII character set. Now one of the things to note with these two controls is that when they pop up all the other controls are automatically dimmed and they're not available for touch. This is an indication to the user that this is the active part of the screen, this is where they need to put in their data. Another feature of the Micromite Plus is the ability to attach a normal PS2 keyboard to the, um, to the Micromite Plus. And then you can set it up so that it will act as a completely self-contained computer. So, for example, this displays the memory uh, held by the device. Um, you can enter the editor and you can scroll through and edit your program. Notice that the editor is color coded, so keywords are in cyan, strings are in green, and so on. So you can edit your program, and when you've finished editing your program, you can save and run it, and you're back there running again. So the Micromite Plus also makes a complete self-contained computer. All you need is the display and a PS2 keyboard and you've got a complete computer with SD card storage so that you can save data and load data. Very much like the original Apple and Tandy computers of yesterday.